Yeah, that's hot. My enemies are many. My equals are none. In the shade of olive trees, they said Italy could never be conquered. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. Damn. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. Damn right you are, bro. Badass. Yo, what is up, bros? This is Obruinati throwing down some Total War Napoleon. I was playing it through the tutorial, and then I came to this uh, part of the tutorial, the campaign tutorial. And I was just like, oh my god, this is going to be so boring. And then I started playing it, and it was actually, it was really good. It was talking about Napoleon coming up from a child into his leadership of France. So I backed out before... I did too much of it because I wanted to actually show it because it was it was pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. Some men live and die in the shade of their olive trees. A lifetime of peace and simplicity. This book is the record of a man who wanted more. A man who wanted everything. His name was Napoleon Bonaparte, soldier, general, emperor. Yet, all things have a beginning. There was a time when Napoleon was just a boy. A boy from Corsica. Noise. Ambition. Instilled in the mind of a child, it becomes a powerful force. From an early age, Napoleon was told that ambition can make a man great. His father had done everything in his power to secure a place for his young son in a school on the mainland, far from Corsica and the confines of island life. We're busting out, bros. Welcome to Corsica. Hey, let's get the hell out of here, bros. This is a boring ass spot. Napoleon was just wanting some strange. He had already smashed through everything in Corsica. With his father, Napoleon traveled to mainland France to begin his schooling. And smash. The moment he saw his new home, Napoleon fell in love. Smash some new strange. The beautiful countryside and cities must have been impressive to a boy from a small island. And the hot Parisian women. Perhaps he dared to dream that one day he would own all that beauty. A victim of bullying, Napoleon held his head high. Other children may have drawn in upon themselves. He had the fierce pride of his father, and when asked to kneel before a schoolmaster, he calmly replied that a man bows only before God. Damn! This maxim would follow him into his adult years. Bitch slapped down the schoolmaster. Make your way to Reims with Napoleon. Napoleon went to study at the École Militaire, a renowned military school that prepared him for his glittering career. He studied the lives of great military leaders, 
paying particular attention to Alexander's campaigns. He dreamed of emulating his heroes, something that few can turn into reality. But this was not the case for Napoleon. Damn straight. The revolution. Uh-oh. A time of upheaval and a shining opportunity for Napoleon. Social position counted for nothing. Ambition would take a man anywhere, and Napoleon had it in abundance. Opportunity was coupled with hardship. Napoleon lost his father, but now he had a destiny to create. After the loss of his father, Napoleon was left without a guide. He found a new mentor in Baron Duteil, the man who was to nurture his talent for artillery and set the young Napoleon on the path to greatness. In his first action, Napoleon proved that he was a more than capable soldier. He was able to look battle in the face, unblinking and undaunted. He took this bravery and returned to Corsica, the island home that he had left so long ago. He wanted to, you know, visit some of the uh, chicks he left behind. It's all about the Corsican Twitch thoughts. Toulon, 1793. Napoleon was given his chance and control of the artillery after the previous commander was injured. Nice. Napoleon's attention to detail and confidence made quite an impression on his superiors, and they sang his praises to Paris. His reputation was being made. There's something about this guy's voice. I just, I, I'm enjoying this. The guy has a dreamy voice. Finally got me an army built up, and we have our first mission. We must siege Toulon. Welcome to the Siege of Toulon. Here, you will learn the basics of commanding an army on the battlefield. You have been given control of Napoleon's French army. Camped in and around this fort are your British enemies. Your task is to rout the British army from Toulon. Let's start I by can selecting do your cannons. Keep up the pressure by firing your cannons at the enemy. As they take damage, their morale will be reduced, and this will eventually make them run away. You have successfully Look, I got him on the run unit. already. If you route all enemy units from the battlefield, you will be victorious. Now, left click on the fire tool button on the review panel at the bottom of the screen. Well, these guys are getting wrecked. This unit will now automatically fire at enemy units within range of their muskets. Left clicking this well, button again. Fire! Will these guys have the range. Order. Units are set to fire at will by default. While enemy troops with broken morale can return to the troops. Oh, with shooting them in the back! Can return to fight once they recover their resolve. These British troops have been shattered. Let them flee for their lives. Well done. You have successfully routed the first wave of enemy units. It was nothing. Now, a second wave of enemies are approaching. Keep your units behind this cover to Let give them, them an come. advantage over the enemy. Oh damn, there's quite a few coming actually. Oh, yeah, that's that's hot. They're getting wrecked. Oh, are these guys trying to flank us or what? Not gonna work. Okay, those guys were shooting up in the air. Did you just see that? Look at there's there's no way they're hitting unless they're <laughs> unless their musket balls are going like this. And these guys are turned the wrong way. Obviously they know these bros are shooting over their head. Ah, oh, we got some more guys fleeing. Run for your very lives.
Ah, now there's another group running. Ah! Alright, show these guys what's up. I want to see some bodies dropping. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, damn, he was holding his package. I think he got, I think he... You have seriously reduced British numbers. He took Click a groin the shot. Attack button. We're charging in. And then right at the last moment. Actually, you know what? Let's just charge in and use bayonets. I was supposed to switch back to shooting, but I wanted to see bayonet charge. Oh, he got laid out. Oh, did you see that guy? He had a neck Napoleon crank on him. Join your ranks for the final push. Use Napoleon wisely and keep him protected. His presence in battle will strengthen the morale of nearby friendly units. Your general also has a set of special abilities, which includes rally, the ability to boost the morale of your units within the general's radius for a short period of time. Shit, they're coming back Use out at the us. Commands you have just learned. To run. Shit, they're coming back out at us. Run! Being shot in the back. And I think that one just called my mother a whore. I swear. I swear. I just heard that. Are you guys going to run? Run! Oh damn, they're charging. Open up. Okay, there might have been a little bit of friendly fire. I'm not going to say there wasn't. Uh, what's going on? Did I use Napoleon here? Oh, there they go. They're running. Oh! I wonder if it doesn't fire at them if they're too close to your... That's probably what happened. They were too close to my own troops, so they didn't fire. Alright, Napoleon. It's your time, bro. Hold on, you can't charge or nothing? There we go. Napoleon! Chase them down like dogs. Boom! Victory! Toulon belongs to France! Viva la France! Hailed as a hero, Napoleon had his first taste of fame. We captured it. it. With the power of the military, he could achieve anything. That much was abundantly clear to the young and ambitious officer. All he needed was one chance to build his power base and seize control of the nation he had so admired. He would not have long to wait. As the British warships fled the harbor, so did Napoleon's last doubts in his abilities. He had stepped from the shadows to take command and led his soldiers to victory. At 24, Napoleon was a brigadier general of artillery. Now, he wanted an army. The years of waiting were almost over. Alright guys, that tutorial has me stoked to play this game. I hope I don't suck at it. Because this seems like a game I would really enjoy playing. So, I guess um, what we're going to be doing... And I really don't have time to get this started right now. I just wanted to show you guys the backstory so that when we when we really get started, we'll be ready. We will be going Italy, 1796, 1797. The new revolutionary Republic of France is under threat from all the old reactionary nations of Europe. It is clear that there are no options other than war. And that the utter ruination of France 
is the only aim of Austria and France's other enemies. The Austrians are motivated by fear. They fear their own people will follow the same revolutionary path. The Austrians can be confronted in Germany and Northern Italy. Austria's possessions in Italy are ready for liberation. The other states of Italy bear watching but should not be able to stand against the righteous anger of the French people. General Napoleon de Bonaparte in charge of the Army of Italy's artillery has been appointed to command the entire army. It is his duty to hold on to France's territory in the Italian peninsula. This is, however, an ambitious and skillful man, and he has plans to drive the Austrians out of Italy and back to the gates of Vienna. Some men live a simple life while others have a fire that threatens to engulf the world. I do not know when the fire in Napoleon first burned. Perhaps he had always had a destiny. But sometimes, destiny can use a little help, or even a revolution. The old ways were drowned in a tide of blood. A man could be whatever he wanted, if he could weather the storm. In 1796, Napoleon was sent to command the army of Italy. We knew that Austria would fight in Germany. We knew the Italian campaign had become pointless. Napoleon thought differently. That was his talent. I will lead you through the most fertile plains in the world. You will find there honor, glory, and riches, he told us. The soldiers listened, but they didn't believe. They had long been without hope, without glory. Sweet. It is a crucial time in the war between France and the coalition. With the majority of French forces engaging Austria in the Rhineland, you've been placed in command of the destitute Armée d'Italie near the French-Italian border. Faced with impending invasion from Austrian forces stationed in Italy, Damn. it is vital that you address your army's dire situation and secure a foothold in the region before setting your sights on Austria itself. Capture Klagenfurt and your forces will have a clear path to Vienna. The stronghold of Mantua may prove to be a challenging obstacle, although its seizure is vital if you hope to weaken the Austrian position in Italy. You will also face resistance from Austria's coalition ally, the Kingdom of Piedmont, Sardinia. Subjugating Damn, this nation, along with any other Italian states that stand in your way, will ensure you sufficient resources to crush the Austrians and overthrow the coalition once and for all. Damn, bros, look at the size of this map. It is massive. And we've got to make it... We've got to come all the way over here. The Klagenfurt. I wonder how many episodes that's going to take. I don't know, but it looks good. I, I'm excited to play this game. This will be the first Total War that I've played. I played a demo of, like... Uh, one of the Rome ones. I, I don't remember which one it was. It was the first one or the second one. I'm not sure. But this looks good. Um, you know what? If I was to control Total War, I'd want Mark S. Bradley, Napoleon, and a war with Italy. And I think that's exactly what we're going to get. Yeah. That's hot. All right, bros, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.